Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ignomatica 6 Expert Mode. Um, and this is my second time doing the intro. Uh, I did it before where I, you know, made this whole thing. Uh, but actually funny enough, my computer crashed and then the recording file got corrupted. So here I am doing it again. Uh, so welcome back. Uh, as you can see here, there's quite a big... Uh, big structure that kind of just made its way here um this funny enough uh wasn't made by me uh i didn't make this at all all i did was gather the materials for it and pasted it into the world uh this is a building made by a user known as howitzer 94 i believe uh they very much uh, frequent the 9x9 subreddit and create schematics. They are, from what I believe, uh, probably the only person, you know, consistently making very, very nice uh, builds and um, the like. Uh, this is the Tinker's building, I believe, made out of completely vanilla uh, materials. Um, in the link below, I'm going to be leaving, uh, or in the description below, sorry, I'm going to be leaving a link to Howitzer94's, uh, Google Docs with all of their, uh, builds and as well as a link to their Discord that you can join, um, which I actually joined, uh, fairly recently, um, where all the builds and the like are also uh, set up there. They're set up in like really nice channels. The, the Discord is actually really nice. If you want buildings like these to, you know, um, plant your world, you know, you're not creative like me, you know, because I have not a single creative bone in my body. Uh, House for 94 has got you covered. Uh, lots of nice bases, lots of nice buildings. I'm most likely going to be adding one or two more. Uh, my main uh, kind of uh, my, my main base building that I'm going to be making is something that I am going to create. But these uh, little buildings, like I was talking about in episode, I believe it was last episode. Um, these like buildings I'm going to have scattered around with different kind of, um, what do you call it? Uh, machines and the like. Um, this is going to be set up for our Tinker Smeltery, hence why it's a smeltery building. Um, I'm also going to find a place to add uh, a, a little smeltery for the uh, for blazing blood. Uh, if we take a little look in the backpack here, I have a ton of stuff ready. This isn't all that we're going to be getting into today. It's just part of it. Um, we're going to set up the first smeltery here and then we're going to set up somewhere. Um, we're going to set up one somewhere else to solely make cre um, blazing blood. And we also have a we also have some dynamic tank, which we're going to pump it into. And that should, uh, that should give us blazing blood that will, that, that's probably just going to keep us going through the entirety of the pack. Okay. So the first thing that I want to, uh, do real quick is the meet your fight bosses. Uh, the, I want to do the, uh, bell ringer and the swamp jaw. Now, the reason for it is I just, I just kind of want to get them up and out of the way. Um, Oh, I think, eh, oh no, we can't, we can't do fortune's favor. We can't do, uh, we can't do that one, uh, because I think it requires, or, uh, Dame, Dame Fortuna, Fortuna. Uh, it requires a Fortuna extract, which we have to go a little bit more into, uh, blood magic for. So, uh, to, we're gonna we're just gonna start with the fossil bait so it's gonna require music disc fish bones lapis two pieces of lapis lazuli uh four raw dweller meat and a fermented spider eye gonna shoot with lightning and that should be the fossil bait now uh i'm going to make the and the next one is the haunted bell and that's gonna be a bell it's gonna be any kind of uh, kind of clean autumn, uh, vanity item. Uh, it, it doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to be a specific, specific one. It's just any kind, uh, one piece of fluorite and three ectoplasm. Shoot it with lightning again. And 
there is the haunted bell. So, uh, I'm guess I'll just go into the courtyard. As you can see here, this is going to be our little pathway leading to my main kind of, uh, I guess chateau or mansion as I, I'd like it to be. It's this, I, I really like the kind of the white on, uh, the black. I think it complements itself pretty well and then the sea lanterns actually i think blend in with the the floor very well um and these are just kind of just simply lights all these these columns too uh they're also from simply lights they're actually uh made fairly easily if you just they're made like this uh you just make a inverted lamp with uh just any kind of minecraft wall and then stone on the bottom and you get two of them so uh i have quite a bit of those kind of in uh you know supply let's start with swamp bait i don't think it needs to be night time i think it's fine so let's just go and spawn them i guess oh you do it like this oh geez okay these are not difficult at all I thought it would have been difficult. I kind of like the boss music. It's really cool. <laughs> oh, we just get one mossy tooth, eh? So we're going to have to kill him multiple times to get the rest. I, I guess cool all right so that's uh that's the swamp jaw now to be honest i am very very over leveled so or overpowered i should say with the stuff that i have let's go with the bell ringer okay bell ringer's a little bit a little bit tankier but not difficult at all <laughs> all right it just gives you like slowness all right well those were the meet your fight bosses or two of the three uh actually quite easy i forget what i needed this for i think it was the specter's eye um but yeah okay well that was that so <laughs> so uh, I will get into the smeltery and all that in a second. As you can also see, I've been making a lot of refined fuel in in between episodes. I've been getting a ton of bitumen, putting it through, and just kind of extracting it through here. As you can see, we got almost four buckets, another almost four, and then almost eight. So, well, we have quite a bit of refined fuel. And the reason we're making that is because we need it for the liquid compressor. And because we need the liquid compressor to start making uh, pressure so we can start getting into uh, pneumaticraft um, because I feel like pneumaticraft is our biggest kind of um, hindrance right now. So uh, let's get into crafting our liquid compressor, our thermo pneumatic processing plant, and maybe getting into a bit of uh, nature's aura um, as well and getting some of that uh, kind of crossed off the list. So uh, to make these first, uh, I want to start with the liquid compressor. We're going to need hardened integral components. Now, these require advanced PCBs and getting into pneumaticraft is another reason, or, or wanting to get into pneumaticraft is another reason. Um, these advanced PCBs are another reason why I want to get into pneumaticraft. Sorry, uh, because we need plastic sheets, which requires us to make molten plastic, which is made through our thermo pneumatic processing plant. So, okay, let's make our first integral component. We need the flux cell. Shouldn't be made this way. Let's put that in there. This should be our first one because I already have the advanced PCBs crafted. I should. Yeah, I have two left. Uh, these crafting them um, is you have to craft them this way. Uh, to get started and then when we start getting like plastic sheets and the likes uh we can craft like a ton of them very easily but uh to make the logic circuit it's a pain and uh same with these ram chips they're they're also pain it, it was just like a pain making it this is what you needed the circuit table for 
Uh, you just put like a circuit back plane or whatever and then like some stupid wiring in there and set the operator and they don't stack so it's just ugh, it's such a pain to to make them but but we have them so let's just make our we're just gonna make one for now um maybe i should pick that up because that's a quest yeah there we go quest done uh and then we're gonna make our liquid compressor I should have all th these crafted oh we need the bellows need two of them put them in there and then this should be our first liquid compressor bam um and then i think we need to grab a bucket to pick up a piece of refined fuel yeah so that should be that quest out of the line um we're also gonna need uh, we're also gonna need to get into the pressure chamber because that's a big one but we're gonna need another hardened integral component which we might have enough of honestly uh because with the because i want to get the um pressure i already said that Okay, next on the list, thermo pneumatic processing plant. This is super easy. It's just small fluid tanks, reinforced stone slabs, and pressure tubes. So we should have all that, except I haven't made the slabs yet. I'll just make a ton of them. Okay. Thermo pneumatic processing plant. Bam. That should be out of the way. And this way we can also get into the engineer's blueprint because um, we need upgrade matrices, which is made in the thermopneumatic processing plant with smoldering lapis lazuli compound. And we're gonna need uh, this engineer's blueprint because it gives us a lot of these very kind of difficult crafts early on. And now we can make them super easily. Like these circuit backplanes, for example, to make these, you need a sequence assembly, which is just insulating glass and then copper plate and then dielectric plate uh, paste. And this is a pain when I can just make it with just one copper plate and an insulating glass and I can just make a ton of them. So uh, that's gonna be the plan. I am gonna go see about gathering some pressure tubes. and maybe going and seeing if i can set up a little kind of pressure area over there in our new building you know start fleshing it out and getting some stuff in there all right everyone we're back uh i set up the basic smeltery over there as well as the thermo pneumatic processing plant with the liquid compressor uh to make the upgrade matrix for the blueprint or whatever what it was this uh where are you this blueprint right here, the upgrade matrix through the thermo pneumatic processing plant. Uh, so we got that done. I just wanted to see how it worked. Um, works pretty easily. I don't know how the whole pressure thing works. Uh, I'm very much used to just like energy, you know, forge energy, redstone flux, that kind of thing. But we will, uh, well, I'll, I'll figure it out in between episodes. But for now, uh, I want to get into a little bit of the nature's aura. I want to set up a nature's aura place and maybe see about adding uh, kind of an altar in uh, the overworld and in the nether. Um, so I want to, uh, so I have all the ingredients here to make the wooden stands because you need eight of them, I believe, for rituals. So I have all the ingredients here. I don't know if the the lightning arrow or whatever is going to void the items because I tried making a like 16 conduits before and I placed down the ingredients for 16 of them and I got one conduit and the rest got voided so uh I don't know if that was like an issue with the flexo magnet because I had that enabled um because when you drop stuff with the magnet it kind of like blacklists them for like 10 15 seconds i think and then picks them up but because they were new items it just sucked them all back up so uh i'm gonna hope that this doesn't happen again and if it does that should be okay i, I should have the materials to uh replace it if it does but let's see if it does uh void the items oh perfect it didn't nice all right so here are our eight wooden stands.
All right, so uh, with pretty much all of the nature's aura stuff kind of set up, I suppose this will be a good spot for it. Um, Cause it, oh no, this area looks like it'll be good for it actually. This in here. Okay, so I want to set up the this. I guess I can put it right there. Right there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Uh, so we'll place all the gold powder. Uh, sapling in the middle. We don't care about that. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to put a chest right here. And this is where all of our stuff is going to go. So um, another thing that I did is I got half a stack of all the saplings that are used in the crafting recipes. Uh, if we look here at the Ritual of the Forest, uh, we have the Serene Blossom saplings, the Frosty Blossom saplings with the Twisted Sap and, and the Twisted saplings and the sunny blossom sapling and the last one is the fiery blossom sapling so these ones uh are the only ones that we're actually going to need for the ritual of the forest and i need to put a oak sapling in the middle one moment okay so just a little oak sapling right in the middle and that should complete it perfect oh. okay, there we go we don't need that uh, the wisteria log we can just put in there blah 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 so uh another thing that i'm going to do in between episodes is set up dispensers all along here and well, probably not in between episodes but probably while i'm doing other stuff uh is set up dispensers with gold powder and just have a button that i just click and it just enables them all so it'll just put it in so i don't have to put it in myself so uh what is the first thing that we need to get into. We need the natural altar. Okay. Uh, we'll start with that. I believe there's only, is there two? Let me check. Okay, so looking a little bit, um, oh geez, sorry, my mic was a little bit uh, too far. There is a lot of aura here, like a lot. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I have a couple of things I want to craft. These are all the things that I would like to get crafted today. Um, just that nature's aura, I want to get an extra craft of all the kind of tokens, uh, the ancient sapling and the environmental eye. So I'm just going to take a quick sleep get everything uh, set up and start the crafts. So, um, I have never actually used or played Nature's Aura. Um, so I thought, you know, you just set up the ritual and you're fine to go, but it turns out uh, you need to grow the tree to start the ritual, I think? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, there we go. Oh, jeez. Nice. There's our natural altar. We just need all that stuff. Uh, let's make our uh, let's make the ancient um, sapling next. Yeah, we should have all the stuff in our inventory. So you may be wondering what I am using uh, to kind of create this redstone esque kind of uh, you know. This weird red... <clears throat> so, uh, this redstone dust that you see along here is actually made with this redstone pen. As you can see, you can just kind of place it down. But see how it doesn't connect? Um, because if you see here, you have these little kind of... This, like, cross outline. And then you... That's, that's how you link it up, right? And then you just left click on it to kind of delete it or whatever. But this way it allows me to place redstone up the top. And I should be able to, once I just fill this in, I uh, got to leave that there. I think I can just here, gonna place that there. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm just going to place it like this. Uh, do that so it doesn't break. Or actually. Two hours later. All right. So I couldn't figure out the issue with the dispensers. I'm going to uh, sort it out in between episodes. But they're there. They're set up in the right order. But yeah, it's a, it's a little frustrating um, actually getting all of it because uh or, or or setting it up because i tried two different ways and neither works so i don't know what i'm doing wrong but i'll take some time in in between episodes to uh figure it out but uh we can still uh do these uh we can still make our ancient sapling so let's get started on that okay so have everything in my inventory Put up, gonna put the serene blossom sapling in the center. <coughs> All right. Now we're gonna place everything on our on the pedestals. I'm really bad with remembering. Should be okay. That should be that. Let's just. And bam. How many? Oh. Oh, it gives us two. Nice. Uh, so apparently these give aura. Um, so I'm just going to put it away for now. Um, what's the next thing that... Oh, right. The natural altar. That's what I want to do. Uh, let me get everything set up for the natural altar, actually. All right. So we have the outline for a crimson altar set up. Uh, right here, I believe. It's just made like that, and then they're on the four pillars. Okay, let's uh, let's start getting it all set up, eh? So something that I want to try is adding some nicer oak planks um, to the altar, and you know, seeing how that looks. I'm gonna. Mm, Try vertical planks. Let's see if those work. It appears they do not work. Okay. What other? Uh, so these ones are from chisel. Maybe chipped. Maybe the chipped ones. What about these? Oh, those ones do work. Okay. So I'm assuming chiseled ones don't work, but chipped ones do. Um. Go with these ones. Perfect. Yeah, those ones work. So we'll put these down. Like that. And then the chiseled in the corners. And then we ended off with the altar. Right. Boom. Done. Nice. And it's... What is it doing? Just attracting aura, I guess? All right, cool. Yeah, so that's the natural order or altar setup. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it, but oh my lord, what is it doing? What is it doing? I'm I'm. That I'm going to assume this is just kind of the base thing it does. Or is that showing like how much aura it has given how many pillars give off kind of those particles? I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, um, I suppose after that's done, I'll show you guys a little bit what I've done in, uh, in between episodes. So as, uh, so... As you can see, uh, here are the apiaries. Uh, nothing has really changed other than we've just, we're gathering more stuff. Uh, right here though, I have a netherite bee. I have a very good uh, portion of the amount of bees. And uh, in here we have the Basil's bee, the blitz bee, and I believe we have the other, and the blizz bee, yeah. So we have uh, those bees, uh, I've just, they're, they're kind of, 
weird to kind of set up, but I have a, I found a, a good little guide on the Enigmatica 6 wiki uh, that shows you how to like uh, do those weird kind of conversions where you have to have like a bee that's pollinated, go over another bee so it turns into another bee. Um, I'll show the setup in a second, but right here is my very simple wood farm. I uh, had it set up on spruce and cherry logs for a while, but for now it's just going for it's just going on dark oak and regular oak, uh, alongside with all the other. Apologies for that. Uh, alongside all the other kind of stuff you get, so the saplings, the the apples, and the sticks, uh, and it's just voiding uh, the rest. Um, the sticks are useful because. Uh, you know, uh, kind of making sticks is a little bit of a pain in the butt, but, uh, but anyways, here it is, uh, this, uh, oh, uh, I might have to stop, uh, these bees soon, because we're kind of loaded up, and I'm not really using these bees much, but, or just making, like, the honeycombs and the honey, uh, for crafting more apiaries and upgrades down the line. Uh, another thing that I've done is uh, make this little kind of diorite setup. Uh, if you, with the custom cobble gen mod that's in here, uh, you can kind of pick and choose what kind of cobblestone you get. Uh, so I've been wanting diorite because I will be using this for my, uh, my big base. Uh, and we have like 255 stacks. I might stop it soon. I might switch it to granite because I know granite's used for a couple of recipes. Uh, because you can also, also, you can't find it like outside in the, uh, in the world. Um, what else? Um, what else? Oh, uh, the centrifuge. Yeah, kind of a, a big part. Uh, I've been centrifuging a ton of my honeycombs. Uh, as you can see, I have about four diamond chests. This one is already filled up, and then this one is getting fairly close. As you can also tell, got a lot of honeycomb blocks and honey, actually. I have a lot of honey, so crafting uh, upgrades for resourceful bees is not going to be an issue at all. And uh, right here is our smeltery. Uh, we got a little lava bucket set up here, transferring into the fuel tanks. Uh, this will eventually get changed with blazing blood that'll get piped in through the bottom, uh, because below we're gonna have our seared, uh, we're gonna have our blazing blood set up, uh, set up with the uh, the dynamic tank, so we're storing a ton of it. And right over here is our elevator. Um, uh, our here's our here's our elevator. It uh it leads us here and here the, we got about two floors up and i'm starting on the floors down um so this is going to be the main floor this floor is going to be like for some uh pneumatic craft stuff just some basic stuff and then up here i'm planning on getting several sequence assemblies set up uh as well because in the sequence assembly so through the sequence assembly we're going to need a lot of these kind of items right so these cube js stuff is going to be used for say the school project blah 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 blah. and then this is how we're going to get our medium machinery schematic but uh the thing with these is i want to kind of have setups for each individual thing so for example one setup only for armor right uh another setup for these kind of big sequence assemblies which require uh six of the deployers uh this one I'm not going to worry about, um, but it's mainly, you see and more, another seven deployers, but it's mainly going to have, I think it's three or four different types of assemblies. Um, I'm going to try to fit up here. It's going to be for armor. Uh, we're going to have the four sequence assemblies like this. Uh, there's going to be a fifth one like this, one with seven. Um, I'm going to see if I can fit it in here. I don't know if I'll be able to, but uh, that's the plan for up here is just getting the sequence assemblies for create setup. Uh, and like I said, uh, here's going to be some thermo pneumatic stuff. This, it's not going to be permanent. This is just going to be how it, how it will be for a while. And then smeltery here, just to go over everything. And then below here is going to be, you know, the, the basement with... Uh, uh, some other machines and stuff like that and we'll uh, we'll go from there but yeah it was you know 
quite a bit of stuff has been uh, been done okay everybody uh i think that's gonna be it for today's video um i know it was pretty it was actually short compared to the last um videos that i've made but um you know my main thing was wanting to show this structure and you know starting that uh nature's aura and the like and finally setting up a smeltery but um uh next episode um i plan on it being quite big and getting into quite a lot of things um the only issue uh between this episode and next one is it might be a little bit longer of a um kind of a uh a, a gap between the two because i plan on doing a lot of uh kind of the boring progression stuff off camera and maybe next episode when i come back i'll spend uh, quite a bit of the video going through everything that i did and you might see a new uh a new building kind of like this maybe, maybe, like probably not in the same you know way but you might see another one for uh, a different kind of purpose so i want to say thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it uh sorry this video took a little bit longer to come out uh i was helping family move and i've been kind of just knackered the last like week or so so anyways thank you so much i appreciate it uh if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it uh comment below anything any feedback advice anything you have uh let me know i love reading it and hearing about it so thank you so much i hope you all have a great and wonderful morning afternoon or evening and i will see you guys for the next episode of ignomatica 6 expert mode bye